Hey, Alex Allen. I need to start producing. I need to start producing. Zero goals, zero assists. What's up, guys? Adam here. Welcome back to the 33rd episode of the Nobs FC career mode. Now, last episode, I showed you guys the shortlist. I showed you some of the new faces, and people were saying, get Harvey Elliott. Like I said, guys, in the interest of keeping it realistic, I'm going to wait and see if he goes to a team, and maybe we can actually pick him up in a future season right now what i think we would need would be a right back but if i see that alex allen just isn't performing maybe come january also before that i've updated the short list with there's some players that were suggested maybe goalkeeper maybe right back because right now you don't know what's happening the gameplay is terrible but we make do with what we have and we see what works i've added some players also i've added some new faces into the save as well Odegaard, cucurella pug or whatever you want to call him poig i have no idea how to pronounce it pedri Anthony from Ajax, Xerxes has got himself a real face, Benarama, I thought they were in the Premier League, so I put them, but he's at Milan, Pelestri, or Pelistri has got himself a real face, the Uruguayan from Manchester United, Eric Garcia has gotten himself a real face as well, Chet Adams, this was a guy I was really looking at, so maybe once we get into the Premier League, a guy like this can be signed, but if maybe Harvey Elliott doesn't have a club come January, and it's looking like we're pushing for promotion, and he would actually just help us out because if we get him, then his wages are going to be a lot higher than the actual average wage we have in the club. Some people are going to start to get a little bit frustrated. So maybe if we're pushing for a promotion, Alex Allen is not delivering. Maybe Harvey Elliott would not be a bad player to sign. Now he has a real face. I know his valuation is around like 6.5 million and we can approach him directly. We'll have to offer a wage between 7,400 and 12,000. So that's what I'm saying. Try to keep it realistic. Will we be able to afford him? But maybe if he sees that we're pushing for promotion, we're in like a playoff spot, maybe signing Harvey Elliott on a free if nobody picks him up would be a fantastic signing for us. But then that means that we'll have to stick with Roman Scott and Baker and just make do with what we have, but I'm gonna leave it up until January. So if he goes somewhere, he goes somewhere. If he joins us, he joins us. If we decide to go somewhere else, we go decide to go somewhere else. We don't know what happens in this series. Blackpool coming up first. This is what we're gonna be going with. I don't know why Danny Rose not the captain, but I want Butcher and Williams to play at center back for right now. I think it'll give us more stability. And let's see if we can start off with a big victory at the Coast Motors Arena. And I actually have some exciting news about maybe a sponsorship for next season but let's take on Blackpool let's start with a big victory really promotion it was I, I don't know <laughs> promotion was not even in my mind but we're up in ninth place a victory here can actually send us on up the table Jerome Watson has been putting in some good performances Kaito Mori might actually see about maybe getting him alone in January because then Jensen and and Watson are going to get games. As you can see, the three real-faced players lining up together, Butcher, Koike, and Roshan Williams. And I wanted to play this last episode, but the way the game was going, I didn't think we were going to have a good time. So hopefully it'll be better here as we're taking on 21st place Blackpool. Let's get the victory, guys. What a ball to Lubula. What a name that is. Roman Scott now trying to deal with this attack. Roshan Williams standing his ground. Al Sharani making the grab that was for Zeroal, but it's okay, game. You do whatever it is you want to do. Clearly for Zeroal, but you know what? It's okay, game. We're already starting. Nishimura. Gonna find Ali. Jerome trying to turn and get something going, but the amount of players they attack with is the same amount they defend with. Ali Koiki putting the pressure. Now Jerome Watson takes. Nicely done by Jerome Watson. Alex Allen, can he spot Somoiro in behind? Yes, he can. As Nishimura gives it back to Alex Allen. Okay. There's talk of maybe replacing him. And he steps up, Alex Allen. And he's doing the Kai Scone celebration because he's waiting for him to come back. Alex Allen with a great strike. 1 2 with Nishimura. Opens up the space, hits it with his weak foot. What a strike by the Canadian. And it's drawn level at 1-1. Great goal by Alex Allen. First of the season. That's how you get back in, guys. Lubala. Williams. Zeruel. No penalty, guys. Nothing. Wait. Let me select Roshan Williams. He gets the block. 
Let's get Nishimura now. Weissanen. Go Weissanen. Can he find Danny Rowe? Yes, he can. Danny. Now taking it around the defender. I can't believe he's beating him for speed as Danny Rowe now. Give this in to somebody. Oh, he was looking for Alex Allen. He was looking for Alex Allen. Now Jerome Watson is going to find Weissanen, but they're always on it. I know the ball's going to just come in and split the defense. That's Matt Butcher now. Good defending by Butch Butcher. And he's going to not get this ball back. It's been three minutes added on, even though it's only been one that the referee added, but it's okay. We do our job defensively. It's 1-1 at halftime. It's a lot better, guys. Roman Scott, he has to get to this one. He's going to get to this one. He's going... Oh, of course. Lubala. Roman Scott was there. Cross comes in. Roshan Williams needs to not be so nonchalant with that one. That one's in. That's offside. That is offside. That is offside. That is not off. It was that not offside. When the pass got played in, I'm pretty sure it was Roman Scott. When did the ball leave his feet? Um, honestly, like, okay, it, maybe his back leg. When did the ball leave? Like, offside? VAR? Where are you? Team press, guys. Alex Allen. Get to it. Nicely done by Alex Allen. He's looked so alive in this game. Wait, Alex Allen. Now, Danny Rowe, this is yours. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Come on. <laughs> that would always go. At, it's off the outside. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me strength. It was destined to lose this game. There was no other outcome that could have happened. I can restart this game 17 million times. It was always going to be a loss for Nobs FC when you have balls hitting off the outside of the post. An offside that should have been called. I'm getting out of this game as fast as I can. 61% of the possession, Blackpool. Seven shots on target. Al Sharani making some saves, but you can't keep those goals that want to go in out of the back of the net. It's going to be a loss. 24th place, Burton Albion. 24th place Burton Albion. This has got to be a victory, but same thing with Blackpool. They were down in 21st and they overperformed. Let's give Danny a start from the bench. We're going to start Cairns up top. We're going to start Simonis at the back. Al Sharani back in goal. I, I really, really don't know what to do. They've got the 4 3 3. It seems like. I, I don't even want to know. Let's get into this match. We're getting the victory. After that, Georgi Tunjov goal. Every time I see an opportunity for him to hit it from long range, I'm doing it. I've never been able to score a long shot like that in this game, but I just decided to hit it. Maybe the circumstances were there for him to hit it, but I'm going to continue to try. And if Tunjov maybe becomes like long term in this series, best believe I'm going to see if somebody could actually make a face for the Estonian. He doesn't have a picture, which you can't actually edit once they don't have a like a real picture, but Maybe if there's an update along the way and he gets one, but I'm worrying about the wrong things. Right now, he needs to keep scoring bangers, keep putting in good performances, and his potential is going to increase, his rating's going to increase. Cairns now, maybe a big job at striker. Maybe a big job at striker for him. Weissenden already starting by giving away the ball, and it's, it's just teams in the bottom half of the table just always overperform. Al Sharani with an easy save. Get on that, Weissenden. No, he's not going to get to it. It's going to find Lawless, though. And then Tunjov gets the ball, but it finds his foot once again. Lawless, come out, Al Sharani. Come out, Al Sharani. Great save, Al Sharani. Patience. Al Sharani with the big save. Nobody was closing him down. The, the ball just glued to his foot. And that's Al Sharani with a big save. Powell with the corner. Burton Albion not playing like a 24th place side. Cairns gets it. And it's going to be the end of the first half. Other opportunities. Cairns should have shot like two seconds earlier or laid it off. But in the end, it's nil-nil, guys. Al Sharani. Cairns. This is yours. This is yours, Lance Cairns. Nice ball by Al Sharani. Alex Allen now. Looking for somebody to help him out. Matt Butcher. Now Ali Koike is going to get forward. Right? Going to take it inside. Find Stunjov. Nishimura. Good ball to Nishimura. Can he spot Alex Allen? The pass. He waited so long to give it. Cairns putting the pressure. Roman Scott now. Make this yours. 
Nicely done by Roman Scott. Weissenen. Help him out, guys. Give him something. Give him something. Tunjov. Gonna give to Ali Koiki now. Looks to take in. Scored that late goal last time. Really has nothing here. Finds Nishimura. Nishimura now. Alex Allen in behind. Great ball to Alex Allen. Good save. Cairns is there to pick up the pieces. We score the rebound goal. Alex Allen getting a lot more involved when there was talk of maybe replacing him. And Karen scoring. Just needed to be at the right place at the right time. And we're finally 1-0 up. Nishimura finally breaking them down. Tried to curl it. Hit off his chest. Right back to Lance Cairns. That's going to be a big confidence boost. For the guy I trusted to play at striker this game. And Cairns going to be scoring his second. First, second goal of the season. That's his first goal in League One. But second goal I think in all competitions. And it's 1-0 Nobs FC. Such a hard fought 1-0 victory. Our goal was scrappy. But Al Sharani making some big saves with the clean sheet. Come on Al Sharani. That's what I want from you. And Lance Cairns, great way to get him some confidence. Three big points against last place Burton. This is a big, big blow for us. Right now, Alex Allen is on international duty with Canada. And we're actually going to be missing him for the game coming up against Hull City, who are up in fifth place. We're up in ninth. So a victory here, man. It's in front of our own fans. Let's start off October, hopefully with a big, big victory. And I'd like to see who was the player of the month it's Bennett it was definitely not gonna be Danny Rowe for that one single hat trick and there was a news article about I think it was Jerome Watson and now I can't find it anymore but Hull City Nobs FC this is going to be a big game we beat championship side Stoke City so this has got to be a victory I'm, I'm expecting it now this is the lineup they've given me Cairns on the right hand side Danny Rowe up top, Williams and Butcher at the back, so that's what I'm going to go with. Let's go Tunjov, and ZOL is going to be playing alongside of him. Yes, I know he does drop by minus four, but he was like 50-something rated as a defensive midfielder. Tunjov playing as a central midfielder. Ali, Butcher, Williams, Roman Scott had a good game. Weissenden had a great game, but ZOL is going to be starting. Al Sharani with a fantastic game. This is going to be our lineup. Danny. Come on, this has got to be your game. This has got to be your game. Maybe he's showing those signs of aging now. Maybe he is, but he keeps going up. He keeps going down. 63, 64, 63, 64. He hit off the outside of the post in the first game. There's nothing you can do. Maybe it has to be his time this season. Maybe it was a two-season thing or one-season thing down in League 2. But hopefully my words will actually give him some confidence. Al Sharani, big game last time. Lovely by Matt Butcher. Roshan Williams can take. Maybe go a little bit forward. He's got the space to do so. Fine Jensen. Ball to Jensen. Nishimura getting in behind. But Tunjov now is going to take. As Georgi Tunjov looks to send one in. Danny Rose there. The cross is not a good one by Georgi Tunjov. And Honeyman. Zeroal. Get. Oh no, Butcher. Oh no, Butcher. Oh no, Butcher. There's another Scott on their team. Al Sharani's going to come out now. Ah, one attack, one goal, Hull City won, Nobs FC nil. I said it from the beginning, we're winning this game. Roshan, get this forward right now. This is ours. Nishimura going. Tomohiro, get in there, Danny. Can he find him? What in the world was that? Danny gets the shot. That's saved by the goalkeeper. Cairns still in the box. Now Lance Cairns looking. No, that was end of the first half. How haven't we scored yet? Zeroal already back, man. He knows. He knows exactly where he needs to be. And now Zeroal, I thought he got to that one, but it's okay. Keep on him, Cairns. Keep on him, Cairns. Danny Rose going to intercept. Go, Tomohiro. Go, Tomohiro. Keep going, Tomohiro. That's a good ball by Danny Rowe now. Now Nishimura drops it back to Danny Rowe. Danny Rowe finds Lance Cairns. Come on. Come on. Come on. What a play and what a save by the Hull City keeper. Cairns. That, that was going in, but he saves it with like the back of his foot. Nishimura now looking. There's Matt Butcher. It's not going to find him. Come on, guys. Get to that. Get to that, Roman Scott. That's lovely by Roman Scott. Come on, Roman Scott. Kaito's on the other end. There's Kaito. Just Roman Scott winning the ball high up the pitch. That's team press works in the late stages of the match. And it's Kaito Mori with his first touch of the ball. Roman Scott with the interception. All City have been solid and perfect all game. 
And then they make one mistake. And they make one mistake. Yeah, Danny, yeah, Nishimura, but look who it is. It's Kaito Mori. In the 80th minute. Hopefully, gonna be salvaging something in this game. First goal for him in League One. All right, it's a point. We had Cairns with the opportunities. We had all that, and it's only gonna be Kaito Mori's equalizer that gets us a point here. And I'm happy with that. Fifth place haul. A victory here would have been amazing, but Kaito, one attempt, one goal. Danny Rowe seems to be slowing down, guys. Now another top of the table clash. This time it's against Sunderland. Big victory here, man. It's 21 points. We can maybe sit 7th, 8th, depending on the other results. Sunderland, Nobs FC, away from home. Let's get it, guys. Okay, look at the state of our club right now. Cairns is drained. Yeah, let's go, I guess, Jerome Watson on the... We're gonna have... Look at this, man. Look at this. Baker. We're gonna... Alex Allen is back, okay. Tunjov is gonna need to sit this one out. He really is gonna need to sit this one out. So you know what we might do this time? Let's go Butcher in midfield. Tunjov is gonna sit out. Let's go Hugh Nixon. He was solid when he came on last time. Koiki is ruined. Danny is ruined. And right now, Cairns and him are like on the same amount of fitness. So I'm gonna start Danny. And if we need speed in the second half, we're going to be bringing on Lance Cairns. We're going to be bringing him on regardless. Kaito Mori is not going to start, but he's going to be on the bench. Roman Scott, what a game. What an interception. I know Koiki's drained. Let's not have Simonis because we're going to need Kaito. Sunderland with this big stadium. Us with our 9,000 capacity stadium. We've honestly been doing decent in our first season up in League One. But still a lot more games to come. You never know what happens. A big victory here, man. Like I said, could send us on up the table closer and closer. And hopefully our guys can perform. Half fitness and all. We're going to need to maybe sit back a little bit more. Like I said, Alex Allen back from his stint with Canada. And he's been playing well as of late. So we're going to continue to give him time on that right-hand side. He saw that there was talk of maybe replacing him and... Look, he just decided to step up his game. Now just putting his constant pressure there. Nicely done by Alex Allen. But of course, of course, they get back on the ball. Nixon played a good game last time when he came on. So he's going to get the start here. Trying to close. Look at that. He has three players on him. He has three players on him. That's how he scored last time. With a mistake. McFazdeen. Look at Weissanen. Go Weissanen. Cover for Baker. Keep going. Ah, uh, no. 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 Get on this. Cross coming in. Alshadani got to come up big. Nixon not even jumping. Testo with the header. Not a good header, but a dangerous and scary moment there for Nobs FC. And he really hasn't run that much, Ali Koiki. Ah, uh, no, this is it, right? This is it. Cross coming in. It's okay. Williams is there. Good defending by Roshan Williams. We're going to look to get our opportunity when we get it. Alex Allen. Don't make the cross come in. Skowen. Just keep them on the outside of the box. That's got to be a corner. Yes, it is. As Nishimura, I'm telling you, everything's slow motion now. Now, Barker with the header. Comes down to Nixon. Hit the... Ah, oh, goalkeeper grabbing. Oh, what passing. This might be the first test for Al Sharani. Oh, 9 That's Roshan Williams getting back so well. Al Sharani forward. Can he find Danny? He might be able to. Nishimura now. Nicely done by Al Sharani. Danny Rowe looking for somebody. Jerome Watson now, taking wide, gives it back into Nishimura, Tomohiro, finds Danny Rowe, can he turn, good touch by Danny Rowe, hit the shot, hit, the... go, post upon post upon post upon post, why can't you just go in, that's another post for Danny, come on Nishimura, there's Hugh Nixon, get on that Roshan, the goalkeeper's gonna punch, we're gonna make a change soon, it's coming the change, it is, Nishimura, Matt Butcher's in there. Gonna come down to Jerome Watson. Takes the touch. Looks for maybe the shot. Nah, Jerome Watson. Come on. Keep going, Jerome. Roshan Williams is gonna find him. He's trying to cross this one in, Jerome Watson. It's gonna be another corner. Nicely done, Vaisanen. Now Kaito Mori. In for Nishimura. Cairns is there. Danny Rowe is there. We're gonna look for Danny Rowe. That's a ball to Danny. Yes! Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Nishimura! That's why I kept him on, Danny Rowe. Come on, that's not a post this time. He hit the outside of the post. He hit the inside of the post. Come on, guys. Kaito with the speed and the stamina to come on. Nishimura, what a ball. And that 
is a finish that's hopefully going to win us the game. The skipper gets it. And what a finish that is by Danny Rowe. Let's go, boys. Going to be scoring his seventh goal of the season. 79th minute. Still a lot of time left in this one. Maybe a defensive change is going to need to happen now. Maybe need to switch around the formation. Go a little bit more defensive. Sunderland are shocked. We had the corners. We had the opportunities. And they have not been able to do nothing in the second half. Maybe should have played it a little bit safer. Nishimura, Brophy is on. Just allowing them to drop back. Now Nishimura started as a, a defensive midfielder. So he's got those defending stats. Wyke, don't make him turn. Hugh Nixon now gives it. Four minutes added on. Four minutes as the referee. Barker doing his job. Now Nixon, just patient. Don't need to go in crazy. Just keep him there. Just keep him there, Hugh Nixon. I don't know how he didn't clear the ball after. Doesn't make any sense, but it's okay. 9 don't make him turn. Now Barker, just get on him, Barker. It's going to be a shot. It's going to be a shot that comes to absolutely nothing. And in the end, it's Danny Rue who gets us the winning goal. Three massive points against fourth place Sunderland. We did exactly what I wanted. Cairns came on. Kaito came on. Kaito actually made a difference in the goal. And it's Danny Rowe with his seventh goal this season. Big three points. Yeah, started by Kaito Mori. Finds Nishimura. And what a ball this is by Tomohiro. Just around the defender. I thought he was going to run out of speed. The defender would have somehow managed to get to it. But... Look at that finish by Danny Rowe. Look at that. 33% of the possession. Four shots, one on target. 8.1 for Danny Rowe. Honestly, if I have to give a player the episode this time, it's going to be Johanny Weissen. And I maybe forgot to give one last episode. I think I would have given one to Jensen. But I just forgot to give it. So no going back. Weissen is my player of the episode. He played his role in every single game he played let's take a look at our monthly scouting report this is from ivory coast let's go 44 to 60 overall potential 71 94 250 000 for emmanuel seca got serbia this is another country that maybe didn't give me the best players the first time frano krizanic 130,000. the next one is going to be even better but for right now let's just I guess promote Krizanic if let's see what Italy has brought us back they brought us back something massive last time and this time Fabrizio Basile 49 to 65 potential of 61 to 81 the potential is not there but the overall is there so Simonis would like to play look at Danny look at Nishimura look at Alex Allen even worse than last time so maybe I should have did two recovery days let's take a look Emmanuel Seca is out of the academy a striker but I'm pretty sure he's actually better as a winger with his dribbling but to get a striker i'm very happy about that so high low work rates i think from now on i'm gonna put development plans that actually like doesn't increase the skill moves i it's all fun in games to have five star skills all the time but it's just i feel like every single player comes out with five star skills if we can upset peterborough and just do exactly like we did against Sunderland that we had so many tired players a 1-0 victory a 1-1 draw in this episode a 1-0 victory against uh, Burton we got that loss against Blackpool but we always have to get a loss out of the way at the, be at the beginning of the episode 21 points big victory here can do us some good or who knows we might get absolutely battered should we go Arnes against a second place side probably not we're gonna go Barker to start Nishimura is ruined right now so Let's go Watson, Kaito Mori, and Jensen. And up top, start Danny. Bring on Cairns in the second half and bring on Nishimura if we need him. And Dion is still there, but I'm thinking of letting him go. This is going to be our lineup. Danny Rose starting up top. Got that crucial goal. Peter Burrow, another five at the back formation, guys. Tactical genius at work. Playing the most cheap style of football when you have no fitness. <laughs> Oh, man, but I don't care, man. I really don't care. We do what we can to get the victory. And that pink kit is gorgeous by Peterborough. I love kits, maybe different colors. And once we maybe get into championship, Premier League territory, I might be also giving us like a third kit and maybe working on some third kits for the team. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I've reached out to some real sponsors and I'm very excited about that. I'm probably going to be showing you in the coming episodes. We're also going to be showing you like the kit concepts from the brands or the sponsors that 
We're looking at maybe in talks with Puma, maybe in talks with Adidas for next season, maybe in talks with, I don't know, Nike next season, but we're in talks. We're seeing exactly what happens. Danny Rowe up top. Jerome Watson right behind him. Nishimura's tired. He needed the rest. Let's get this victory, guys. Again, second place Peterborough. We're such overachievers, guys. You love to see it. And Vaisenen, no matter what he does, unless he drops a disaster class today, he's my player of the episode. Al Sharani now come up big. Nicely done by Al Sharani. Just stopping that one at all costs. Jensen. Georgi Tunchov. Get up there, Roman. Oh my god, that was risky. That was risky. Now Roman Scott finds Watson with his new undershirt. Jerome Watson now looking to get going. Lovely by Jerome Watson. Come on, Jerome. Show me something. Jerome Watson now. Give it into Danny Rowe. Yes, hit it first time. Yes, hit it first time. Yes, hit it first time. Come on, Jerome Watson. Danny Rowe. Eighth goal of the season. It's 1-0 Nobs FC. Jerome Watson, patience and patience. Look at the space opening up. And Danny Rowe with his weak foot just hits it first time. If it goes in, if it gets saved, either way, it finds the back of the net. Lord knows how many goals he could have had this episode. One off the outside of the post. One off the inside of the post. Eighth goal in League One. One nil up. Maybe we could not sit back, but maybe we could just go a little bit more defensive. Again, second place Peterborough, guys. Such a good season he's having. Butler. Williams. Let's go, Roshan. Just need to get it further than that next time. But it was good what you did. Now Butler. Roman Scott doesn't seem to want to get there, so Vison in his. Don't drop back too much, guys. That's a good ball. Yeah, exactly. Peterborough one, Nobs FC one. Drop back maybe a little bit too much there, guys. The game's all square. Triple change for Nobs FC. Nixon at the back. Nishimura in for Kaito. And Cairns in for Danny Rowe. Ten minutes left. The substitutions finally came on. Watson moving to the right-hand side. Let's see if he can do something big, guys. We're getting this victory. We're getting this upset once again. Tunjov, Cairns, look at the speed he has already. Gonna look for him. Okay, Cairns, get there. Lovely ball. Now Lance Cairns. Jensen. Oh, no. Now we... No. We messed that one all up. Barker. Give it into Georgi Tunjov. Tunjov. Now Nishimura. Can Nishimura turn? Find Cairns. Hit it, Cairns. What a save. Cairns lively. Should have been coming on in like the 70... Like the 65th, 70th minute. But of course... We didn't have a stoppage in play. Get there, Jensen. That's another mistake. That's another mistake. As I really can't believe that, man. They gifted that to us again. And this time we can't take advantage of it. Cairns, get on him, Cairns. They scored a good goal and there's nothing more we can do about that. With all these tired players, I'm actually pretty happy with that. It's going to be a 1-1 draw. Not much more we can do. As Peterborough, second place Peterborough, Danny Rowe with the goal, Al Sharani with some saves. But in the end, it was inevitable, guys. 1-1 one, one draw at home. So not too bad of a spot to be in, guys. We're up in eighth place, 22 points. It's the draws that really, like, have been messing with us. Seven draws, only three losses this season, guys. Five victories, seven draws, three losses, 20 goals for, 15 against. We need to, well... Honestly, this episode has been a lot better defensively. Maybe we found the secret. Controlling the midfielder, making Vison and drop back, making Butcher and Roshan do what they do, Nixon and Simonas. I'm thinking of maybe in January getting out maybe Nixon or Simonas for a loan. I think it would really do them some good. Keep their playing time, somebody over here and somebody at another club. Maybe a short-term loan. Currently sitting in eighth, guys. Al Sharani, 15 games, three clean sheets. Been playing a lot better in this episode, and I'm happy about that because right now he's our only good goalkeeper Malai is there but he's not up to par maybe he can play some other games Danny Rowe nine goals none more important than the one against Sunderland the one against Peterborough as well Nishimura four goals ten assists Kaito three goals no assists Tunjov with two goals Cairns with two goals and three assists Hopefully doing better. Ali Koiki a goal. Alex Allen a goal in this episode. Jerome Watson a goal and two assists. Jensen seven games. He got nothing in this episode. One goal, two assists. And before I forget, we're going to go ahead and give Johanny Weissen in the player of the episode because he absolutely deserves it. As usual, it's plus three and three random stats for the player of the episode. We've got all the stats over here. Let's put them in. Let's see what Weissen is going to be getting as an upgrade 
avoid finishing, short passing, and reactions. Would be great for a striker, the finishing, but it's for a midfielder. Yeah, so Vison, and I was looking at it, he doesn't have the best of potential, but right now his work rates are there, and the upgrade actually did make him go up to a 60, so I'm happy about that. He doesn't have the best of potential, like I said, but his work rates are there. His stats are there. He's been playing good. So who knows? The better he plays, the more informed he gets. Maybe the better his potential does increase. But that's going to be how we're ending off this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I put five games in because I was actually liking the way it was playing today. If you guys have enjoyed, you can leave me a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.